In this video, I'm going to talk about SharePoint permission versus project server permissions. So here we have a project manager um, that we gave access to our custom um, project server site. And as you can see, um, they're missing access to various components, such as the project center. Um, they cannot see any of the current project plans, nor can they see the um, corresponding project sites. So um, let's talk about, let me show you how to give them access. So you can first see here when we go to um, site settings, um, under your under the project web app group, you can see that they um, are already in a group. But um, we also need to give them access to the project server um, itself. So, um, so if we um, go back to our home page here, and we scroll down and we see under settings, there is a hyperlink for server settings. Go in there and click on Manage Users. And then you can see that they currently don't have access. So what we need to do is we need to give them access. So let's add a new user. And we're just going to call this And then we need to link it to the um, Active Directory account. And then we need to give it the proper permission. So if you scroll down a little bit further, you can see um, they're just a team member, but you want to make sure that they can access all the projects and the corresponding project sites. So um, I'm going to make them Portfolio Manager. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to click Save. Now, if we go back to our project site and we click on Project Center, now all the individual project plans are available. Also, the individual project sites are available as well.